Hey, how you doing there again, folks? Me again, of course, Brandon Wenzel. Come back at you, another offering off my sampler platter. <sighs> yes, indeed, folks, sampler for you, series of these I do for the one. I go over there, trap food and drink items. I eat stuff, I drink stuff, then, folks, I'm going to talk about stuff. I'm going to let you know all that you need to know about hopefully delicious stuff that, Tom, I'm knowing this, folks, I'm not going to lie. I have not been this ecstatic in my life for over a year now. But we'll get to that. Folks, it's a super simple format. I'm going to go over there and try out food and or drink items for you. Whilst I'm doing so, I'm yammering on about it for a bit. Whilst I'm doing all that, I'm inside my truck. And whilst I'm doing all that, folks, I wear a super cool shirt. And folks, when I wear super cool shirts, I always like to highlight the super cool shirt. What super cool shirt am I wearing for you today, folks? Well, that happens to be my boom! My Valentine Wolf shirt. It's a little bit cat hairy at the time. But did, 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 did. what the fuck is Valentine Wolf? Uh, they are a husband and wife musical duo of a very unique nature. They combine elements of like gothic horror, classical instrumentation, heavy metal, video game stuff, like just kind of a whole menagerie of awesomeness. Like all these things that I love. I ran into them through a Facebook ad, actually, and I was impressed. You know, I thought the ad was really cool. I really liked just their whole thing that they were doing. And, you know, so I liked their page. I followed them. And then it turned out, like, I think a week or two later, they were coming to Illinois for a steampunk expo. And I was like, holy fuck, first of all, there's a steampunk expo. I didn't know that. And then on top of that, they're like, yeah, by the way, you know, we're going to be playing there. And I was like... So I got to see him perform live, got the shirt, got some things signed. They were extremely awesome people. Uh, I went over there. I took some videos of their performance. Those videos are on this channel as well, just in case maybe you want to check them out. If nothing else, I'd be more than happy to point you in the right direction for their music, because they are badass. But anyway, what am I reviewing for you today, folks? What are we doing here? Why am I so damn happy? Oh, folks, for over a year, I've been fighting with the state and my insurance trying to get my license plate shit figured out. Because it was a whole stupid kerfuffle, and I kept having to go to court and get extensions and go to court and get extensions because I just couldn't win. I'd call up the state, they'd tell me to talk to my insurance. I'd talk to the insurance, they'd tell me to call the state. It was, f oh my god. Finally today, I took the day off of work to deal with this. And after six hours of phone tag, I finally got it. And when I was done, I was like, I deserve a celebratory burrito! So, what am I reviewing for you today, folks? Well, it happens to be, boom, it's in this container. And it's not just any burrito, folks. No, it's boom, it's, oh god, the lighting is awful. It's a burrito! And it's not just any burrito, it is a burrito from a local establishment called Los Burritos Mexicanos. Number two, specifically, it's the number two location. Um, I have been going to Los Burritos for years now. It was a favorite spot of me and my dad. Um, you know, one of those places where, like, they knew us on site. Uh, sadly, I think most of the people that we knew who worked there before, I think they've kind of maneuvered on, but I really like this place, but it has been quite a while since I've been there, and I just, man, I was just like, I want something that'll just, mm, you know, and so I went over there. This is their steak fajita burrito, and then I got it Suizo style, which means with cheese. It was like, just, just, why wouldn't I do that? So, let's get a, a thing for the thing. <laughs> and because this is a local establishment, it is going in my Eating Out Illinois playlist. That is a playlist for just, like, Illinois-specific establishments. Now, normally for a burrito, I'd pick it up and eat it, but it's a Suizo burrito, so we're going to knife and fork the fuck out of this. I also got some horchata from them. Oh my god, do they have fantastic horchata. Like, genuinely some of the best horchata I've had. So, oh, I'm so happy. <laughs> like, the fact that I finally got this done and I can finally go back to the court and get this shit taken care of. They literally told me, they're like, this is the last extension we're giving you. I was like, okay. So, buh, buh, buh. plastic utensils sock. But it's what I have. So, it's this. Um, I 
Like a good reel. Oh, it's been such a long time. I think the last time I was at Los Burritos was probably around a year ago. I remember I stopped in, I got some uh, some breakfast. But I've actually never had a burrito Suizo style from them. But I will sometimes get their steak Suizo. So I know that cheese is just phenomenal. Like it is beyond flavorful. I don't know what it is exactly, but it hits in like the most delicious ways. It's very, very striking. It is a, not a cheese for the faint of heart. I'm guessing it's a blend of things, but I'm not a cheese expert guy McCheese. So, let's open the done. <laughs> Burrito. Oh, man. Um. And that's just a good time, man. You got your steak in there. It's nice. It's very, very filling. You got some refried beans in there. Which refried beans, not always my favorite thing in the world. I don't dislike them, but like, I'm more of a rice guy. But, Los Burritos Mexicanos has some good refried beans. So it works really well in their burrito. And you got some lettuce, you got some tomato. And that's just a good time, folks. That's just, that's just everything you want. And it's delicious. Because, I mean, you know, fuck, man. They call them, you know, their place is called Los Burritos Mexicanos. Come on, man. They better damn well have a good burrito. And they do. Yeah, even, uh, I don't know how many locations they have exactly. They have at least three. I live near two of them, number one and number two. And I used to live very close to number three. So, I don't know if there's any more. But, like, it's really cool that they have, like, a little local chain. Oh, I Awesome! Home. Oh. Steak is nice and tender. Very flavorful. Even against all the cheese and everything going on. It's decadent. It's delicious. It's everything you want in a burrito. That's just... That is fucking to die for. It's making me kick myself in the ass for not going back to Los Burritos Mexicanos more often. Because it's not even a thing. It's just... There's so many good places to eat around me, you know? It's like, I gotta kind of filter around. But no, that's fantastic. Um, now, all that said, two questions have to be asked. Would I get it again? Would I recommend it? Absolutely and absolutely. I think for me personally, I'm not gonna go over there, like, I'll, you know, I'm not gonna go over there and say it's the best burrito I've ever had. But, is it a damn fine burrito? Yes. It is doing everything I want a burrito to do. Plus, I love the added suizo with the cheese. It just makes it all that more decadent and just questioning your own life decisions. And that's what a really good burrito should do. You know, I think that's important. Like, I, you know, like there's lots of really good Mexican places around me and stuff. And it's like, man, you know, I want something that's you know, not all the time, but you want something that's ridiculous and amazing and just, that's it, man. You know, and it's a simple burrito. They're not throwing anything crazy in there, but it's just, hey, guess what? Beans, or yeah, refried beans, steak, lettuce, tomato, and then a shitload of cheese. Is that good for you? And yeah, it's good for me, man. And that's, again, I there are other places where, you know, if I wanted more kind of specialty-oriented burritos, yeah. But for just a classic, sort of very honest, just damn fine burrito, this is the business right here. And you know that I don't go over there. Like, I'm not, you know... And part of it's probably a little nostalgia, to be fair. But, like, yeah, man, that's a good fucking burrito. It is apt for my celebration. And I feel like that's important. Uh, and if I'm recommending it, it is definitely one of those things. I think if you were local to the area, or any of the areas where they have a Los Burritos Mexicanos, absolutely. Uh, I know for me personally, I've never had anything bad from them. My on like Honestly, my probably go-to is their combo plate, which is like an enchilada, a stuffed pepper, and I think like maybe two tacos or something like that. I love it. You know, it gives you a little bit of everything. But this, this is a fantastic thing. It is not for the faint of heart. 
But I think, again, I think sometimes you just, you want that celebratory burrito. And I think that Los Burritos Mexicanos is a great place to get one. There's also a place near me called El Famous Burrito. So one day I'm going to have to go there and I'm going to have to, you know, burrito it up again. But yeah. Uh, anyway, five things before I get out of here. Have yourself a great rest of your day. Spectacular rest of your week. Monumental rest of your month. Dependence rest of your folks. Come do yourselves a truly burrito-tastic rest of your life. Because burritos are amazing, man. Like, can you, like... Like, it baffles, it, like, boggles my fucking mind that there are people out there in the world who, you know, take issue with people of other cultures and stuff like that. And it's like, do you realize how much you're missing out on, you know, by going over there and sequestering yourself away into this little shithole existence? It's like, it's, yeah, you know? It's like, yeah, sometimes people can suck, but that doesn't have dick to do with their culture. Sometimes people just suck. And... You know, but going over there and getting to share culture and food and, you know, that exchange, it's a wonderful thing, I feel. Final two things. Number one, try to bring some positivity into the world. It's not always possible. It is, however, always appreciated. But what you do if you can't do all the time, I know I can't do all the time. Here's what you do, folks. Good try not to be an asshole. Folks, it's not always the easiest thing in the world to not be an asshole. Trust me. I know it. I live it. I'm out there every day with you in it. Life can be stressful and frustrating and just bullshit sometimes, folks. And when we find ourselves in situations where we have to deal with said bullshit, it's important that we go over there whenever possible. <sighs> Take a step back, try to mitigate the level of assholishness in our lives, hopefully the better for ourselves and those around us. Very final thing, folks, do the thing. Whatever the thing is for you, that's what I want you to go out and do. Folks, if you have like a favorite local spot that maybe you haven't been back to in a little while, I want you to go out there and I want you to hit that place up. You know, because like, it is one of those things, you know, doing this show has been this awesome, you know, experience and it's given me all of these opportunities to go out and try like all these new places and stuff, you know, like I like trying new food anyway. This is just kind of, you know, a little bit of a gimme for it, but it is important to remember. It's like, you know, cause I remember when I first started kind of branching out and kind of hunting for my own food, you know, a little bit away from my dad and you know, I, I, didn't kind of want to keep hitting the same places over and over again the way that he liked to. But it's important to remember that, like, yeah, as much as I have all these awesome places, there's a lot to be said for, you know, those stalwart classics, you know, the places that you loved so much. And yeah, man, I think that's really important. So, anyway.